Hey guys, Mike here, and I am about to take on the Sephiroth challenge here on Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. I beat it on very hard, uh, and then I was like, why didn't you film this so people could see? Oh well, I'll do it again on very hard, and uh, I'll try my best to beat him again. I beat him in one shot, which was uh, surprising, because it was quite hard. I did do it with Pokemon Trainer. I wonder if I'll go with my, my other favourite character, Ness, this time, and try it out with him. Um, but yeah, I watched the Sakurai Presents video and it was awesome. Um, it was just... I, I reckon Sephiroth is my favourite DLC character so far, aside from Banjo-Kazooie. He's definitely the one I, I am most familiar with as well. Like, I don't really know Joker or Terry that well, but I still think they're all really cool picks. And yeah, I think his moveset is really unique. He doesn't have... I mean, he has the one-winged angel thing, but he's certainly the most or the least gimmicky of all the DLC picks, I reckon. Um, which I think is good. Like, I don't think all the DLC characters have to have... have to have, like, a unique gimmick kind of thing like they like they have. And, and you know, Sephiroth does, but it's not... it's not really necessary. Like, it's an automated thing that happens no matter what, so... Oh, God. Ah... I can't believe I beat it first time uh, when I did it not filming it. And now I'm literally crumbling under the pressure. Um, alright, we'll try with someone else. We'll just make a little video of me failing. I feel like whenever I do one of these videos where I'm trying to, like, show me playing Smash Bros, I always do shit. Like, watch my Steve from Minecraft one, I lose every battle, but I guess I've never played him. I am really keen on just playing as Sephiroth. Like, I want to try and make him into my main. And I- and now I'm just- I really am keen on- look at that. <laughs> look at that! <laughs> you fucking idiot, sir. That's Sephiroth on very hard, right? And I just literally knocked him off the stage with Jigglypuff. That's the power of Jigglypuff. You just fucking knock him off. Jesus Christ, that was way too easy. <laughs> I'll do another one. Let's go very hard again. We won't do Jigglypuff again, because that was too easy. Um, let's do... Um, who should we do? Let's... We'll try Mr. Game and Watch. I love, love a bit of Mr. G and Dub. See how he plays. Um, but yeah, Sephiroth is looking really awesome. Like, I'm super keen to play as him. I started playing online as Cloud the other day, and I was trying to get better with Cloud, because... I remember when Cloud came out in Smash 4, he was so strong, but he's not as good in this one. Oh no. Oh god. Alright. Whenever I play Game & Watch, I'm always just trying to set up- yeah, okay, I'm always just trying to do that. I feel like all Game & Watch players are just always trying to set up the knight. What a coincidence I got it the first time I used it. Um, alright Sephiroth, you're not doing too well, are you mate? against an LCD fucking 2D dude. Look at that. Look at that. Edge guarding like a pro. But yeah, I'm, I, I, I think the side special attack from Sephiroth, which is that one that like builds up the curse around characters, is, is probably the most unique. Like I haven't, I don't think there's really an attack like that. Like the standard special just reminds me of like, um, like Robin and different magic using characters where it just charges up. Like, it's pretty much- it seems similar to, like, Robin's Thunder spells, where it's, like, weak, mid medium, and then super strong charge up. Um, but that's fine. I like how he's a- he's a big character, but he's- he's a lightweight, um, despite being so tall. It kind of makes sense, though. Like, I don't think Sephiroth should be a heavyweight, but usually a lot of villain characters in this game are heavyweights, like Bowser, um, uh, who else? Like, even... Well, Donkey Kong's not really a villain anymore, but he's heavyweight. Ganondorf, obviously. Damn! Oh, did I... Wait, did I beat him? Oh, I beat... <laughs> I was like, oh, damn, I lost. It was me that beat him. Alright, we'll do one more of versing Sephiroth. Let's go... Who should we go this time? Um... We will go... We will go... Should we do Cloud? We've got to do Cloud. I'm not going to win. I seriously doubt I'll beat him, because I'm not very good with Cloud in this. Um, but we will see how we go. Here we go, the ultimate matchup. Who would have ever thought this would happen in Smash Bros? Oh, the music is so good. One Winged Angel is such an iconic video game track, isn't it? 
and it's just like I, I only I actually only really the first time I was introduced to Cloud and Sephiroth was actually in Kingdom Hearts. Um and that Sephiroth boss battle in Kingdom Hearts in the in the Colosseum where he's just I think he's one of the the hardest like he's the strongest boss in the game. He's a secret boss like and he just decimates you from the second you start. Oh, fucking hell. Damn it, I missed. Okay. Well, this is an alternate universe where Sephiroth beats Cloud, clearly. <laughs> Unless... Or... 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 Damn. Alternate universe, Sephiroth beats Cloud. Let's, uh... We'll do a versus match where I'll play as Sephiroth and, uh, give my impressions of him. But yeah, I, I've... I've... I was introduced to Cloud in a Cloud and Sephiroth in Final Fantasy, not Final Fantasy, Kingdom Hearts, and I always thought they were really cool. I'll just play against a computer, so let's do Smash. Um, we'll just do, yeah, three lives, which seems to be good. And we may as well do the Final Fantasy stage, yeah, cool. Let's, I don't, I like doing it on Final Destination mode, so we'll do that. But yeah, and I just remember as a kid, trying so hard to beat Sephiroth, and when I finally did it, it was amazing. So what colour changes have we got yet? So his armour just changes. Let's just go the standard, and I believe I... I think I'm versing a level 3 Sonic. So we should be good, guys. We should be okay. So I want to try... The range on that isn't great, but it just seems like a cool... Okay, there's a lot of sort of end lag on that. Oh, that's very cool. Okay, and what's... Okay, so the up B is kind of like Fox Falcon. More like Wolves, I guess. Oh, God, that's powerful. Let's do a taunt. Let's taunt a bit. Do a couple taunts. Okay, so his down tilt is the same as, like, Cloud and Mega Man's, which is a good one. I don't really like characters that have those down airs that send them downward, because it, it just makes them risky to use sometimes, I think. And sometimes you forget and you use it when you're off the stage and obviously you end up dying. You just plummet to your death. Like, the Belmonts have that. Sonic has that. Fuck, this Sonic sucks, I guess, because he, he's a level 3, guys. Give, cut, him some, cut him some slack. So that, okay. The, the deflect is cool because it just triggers no matter what. Like, it doesn't have to... Oh, shit. Okay. And what's the, the... I think the forward air, yeah, gets stuck into the stage, which is pretty unique. Cool. I, man, I, I really like how he feels. Obviously, I haven't triggered the one wing thing, because I'm not losing. <laughs> I like that it's not, it's not linked to damage. It's actually linked to, like, the overall battle. And that you can get five uses of, so that's cool. Ooh, shield break. Sorry, Sonic, I'm about to kill you. Fully charged, up smash attack. Ah, oh, did nothing. Let's hit him off the stage. There you go. Killed Sonic. Alright, do we do one more against a level 9? Well, look at that. Look at that. Look at that end splash screen. That is beautiful. Let's do, let's do a level 9. Maybe we do a level 9 cloud, and we'll do it on, on Midgar. Midgar battlefield mode. I'll, I'll set up a level 9 cloud, and we'll see how we go. Um, so, I am Sephiroth, I'll be the topless Sephiroth. <laughs> and let's do cloud... Level... Oh, whoops. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Cloud... Level 9. All right, let us see how this goes. Reversing the other matchup we did. So, you know, if Cloud wins, I'll actually consider that a win because it's a win for good in the world of Final Fantasy. Look at that, Cloud, you're terrible. You suck, mate, you couldn't, you couldn't win a fight even if there was a, no, tried to do a save, didn't work. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys, it's hard to play and talk at the same time. Oh, God. I, I still, I really just can't believe Sephiroth is in the game. Like, who would have seen that coming? Okay, Cloud's just totally smashed me down there. 
Bam. Oh god. I really, I really like Sephiroth. That range though. Oh, look at that. I think there's a sweet spot on the sword, which is the middle. Because I think... I think Marth sword... I like that the, you know, there's that kind of detail in the game where there's sweet spots on the sword. So Marth sword hits with the tip as the sweet spot. And I think Lucina's entire sword... I, I'm getting decimated by Cloud, by the way. I am aware of that. Um, and then I don't know if, like, the other sword characters have sweet spots on their swords. I also love the constant reference to uh, Sephiroth is no for his long sword. Just a, a little bit of innuendo in that, I feel. Come on. Oh god. I'm, I'm going to lose, everyone. I'm going to lose. <laughs> Look, he's about to limit me. Oh, super armor. I've got the, I've got the one wing. Which makes it- Oh! <laughs> So all your smash attacks have super armor if you're in one wing mode. So that actually did work to my favor. Like, like it really helped me out because I was able to cut straight through cloud smashes. Oh God. Do I still have the wing? Yes, I do. Man, I really like, Sephiroth feels like a really sort of, I don't know, like traditional smash character. Like there's just, okay, well I've lost. There's no, I don't know, there's no gimmick with him. It's really cool. That is awesome. Um, to go out on a loss is okay. I don't mind. That was really fun. Sephiroth seems really cool. And I uh, I can't wait to play more as, more as him. Uh, and I can't wait for Crash Bandicoot to get into the game next. Anyway, guys, let's leave it there. Uh, thanks for watching. This is really cool. And uh, subscribe, all that stuff. See you later. But I went to run my hand through your hair and I noticed You were attached to string you were a puppet this whole time, you were attached to strings.